All right, guys, welcome back. So, episode, I guess, four technically, but yeah. Matt is episode two My of the swing lesson. journey. Yep. Uh, you have worked your tail off. Hit um, too many balls. You've had a lot of golf balls, so you're ready for today. Yeah, I'm excited about today for yeah. sure. Uh, I've since got some swings. It's been great to get some feedback. Um, I've hit probably five or six times um, a week for at least an hour and a half since we saw Scott last. Yeah. Um, I went a little overboard, so I got a bit of a sore wrist, so I took some days off this week. But mm. for the most part, yeah, I've been practicing a lot. So I'm um, just trying to ingrain the backswing stuff to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, and Scott's going to introduce some new concepts today, which I'm looking forward to. But um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been hard work, but I do, I do like to practice. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's one good thing with this swing journey is it, it caters to a love that you and I have for working on our some games, hitting and, some balls. Yeah. If I didn't like doing it, I wouldn't do it. it that's it. It's, it's physically good for you. It's mentally good for it you. Is you know, we both really enjoy that part of it. Totally. So, uh, so you, you know, you feel like you've gotten yourself into the next stop in the road. I want. I want to say so. Yeah. I yeah, think I, I made think some so progress too. with the with the elbow motion and the backswing, um, and now I think well, Scott's going to identify them. There's a lot of things that occur after the backswing is finished yeah. that I really need to start working on. So I love it. Um, it's going to be different, that's for sure, but looking forward to it. Very cool. Okay, let's, uh, let's get, let's get uh, the there. guru going here. Let's go okay. and see what he says. All right. All right, so let's review that real sure. quick. Absolutely. Uh, grip was great. Uh, we talked a little bit about that stuff uh, last time. Still okay. Grip looks fine. Good. Uh, we talked about this being slightly internally rotated. If anything, maybe just feel like that's slightly internally rotated a hair as well. So gotcha. just maybe bring that over just a smidge. Okay, just change that thumb position a hair. There you go, just okay. a touch stronger. There you go, perfect. That trail elbow, that crease on your elbow was kind of parallel to your toe line. Right. Okay. Right. Now, one of the, uh, the little things that we did talk a little bit about uh, was just understanding the, the geometry of this is really important. Mm. So we think of a constant radius swing, we're controlling the club head, but we also have responsibility to the grip end. Okay, so we don't want this club to sort of lift off of the plane this way or get pulled inside too much this way. We're really going to kind of move this grip very level, very straight for about 10 inches. And you mentioned close okay. to my left thigh. Correct. So there's only going to be about a hand width or so from there. So if you go ahead and set up again, you'll see there's about a hand width between the butt end of the club and your lead thigh at setup. Uh -huh. But at, at P2 or, or, you know, our first position here, our second position here, this is gonna be again about a hand width away. If we put this right against the butt end of the club, uh -huh. and if you do this right, the butt end of the club is gonna go right along that, okay, as you do this movement, gotcha. okay? Now, so there's that hand width that we talked about, uh -huh. but this builds the right amount of rotation, which is about 30 degrees, and the right amount of wrist motion to get it to this position on, on uh, at P2. Right. Now, go ahead and bring that to the top now. Now, this is much tighter than what you were practicing. Okay, in particular here. He feels it, yeah. Okay. So this is what's gonna contain those arms. This is gonna get rid of some, you know, some of the looseness that was happening at the top of the swing is no longer there. When we bring this thing down, we want you to feel two things. We're gonna change the footwork a little bit, mm -hmm. okay? And we're also going to um, move this right knee a little bit in this direction. That's gonna pull the club down a little bit. Okay, as we continue along these lines, this is going to lower back down in front of that thigh. Okay, a little bit closer to you here. It's going to lower in this ballpark. But coming into the shot, we wanted to feel like the inside of your left elbow never turns toward the target. It's always going to stay out toward the quad or toward the golf ball. And if we do that, our hips have to release forward and slide slightly and this get into way. impact here. Gotcha. Okay. So that's kind of the feel. Now, when we did that correctly, we're gonna finish, we're gonna finish with this toe in this position, or the mm -hmm. ankle in this position, as opposed to rolling over like this, where really all we've done is over rotate. Yeah. So quickly show, cause that's a really big one, and, and I've always noticed that, and anyone who's seen a down the line swing of me will see the foot do this. Right. That's a symptom of, basically the body is over rotating relative to how much it needs to tilt. So my chest is basically, and hips are right. facing. So the this. trick is for me to play golf in an inclined plane bent over like this, I have to rotate, but I also have to change my tilts through uh -huh. the shot, okay? And that keeps this club moving in a reasonable plane. And that's right. why this swing pattern, which is very different than Ian's, is called a constant radius or a planar model uh -huh. of a swing. So you're learning how to orient your ankles, your knees, your hips to the plane of the golf club that you're trying to operate okay and have that sort of stay in those corridors all the way through to the finish gotcha we're gonna slide that off the end 
Awesome. Up to the top. Okay, now we're gonna keep that left elbow toward the quad all the way into impact. We're gonna push those hips under. Okay, so you need actually a little bit more slide, a little bit less rotation. A bit more that way. About there. Okay, okay. now go to the finish. Correct. So you're gonna feel like it's funny because you're gonna feel like everything is over here at me. Yeah. Kind of does, yeah. Right. It feels does. like you're under rotated, mm -hmm. right? But just relative to where. But else. relative to where you were, which is way over here toward the TV and the net over here, uh -huh. right? We've brought you actually back to where you should finish. Interesting. Okay. But to you, it's going to feel kind of more Tommy Fleetwood in this ballpark, as opposed to Michelle Wee in this ballpark. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Hold so that. Fancy boy. Okay. So pretty good. So a couple checkpoints, side of the big toe. See mm -hmm. how it's on the corner of your, of your toenail. Yep. Okay. I should be able to put a piece of paper between your thighs. So squeeze that. This should be closer. Right. Good. Now that's your balance. That's your tripod. That's your sort of, you can sit there for an hour. Yeah, it feels comfortable. Right. So when those knees are apart, that's a player that's over rotating level to the ground. Good, one more time. See, a lot of this is just a setup. This arm likes to hang too straight. Okay. Lower this down slightly, and then see how that softens it up. With you. Okay, so there actually needs, in your case, needs to be a tiny bit more tilt, just a little bit there, uh -huh. to soften this. So when this shoulder's too high, you see straight. how it wants to go straight and internally rotate. Right, so we need to keep right. this. And that's all done by the shoulder. Right. Good. Yep, beauty. Okay, good. Feels different. Yep, a little thin, but good. Right idea. Now there's a little tiny bit, we can cheat this a little bit because you like to sit your, your pelvis this way. Yes, I do. Okay, so we're actually gonna preload you slightly there because that's gonna help us then push this more laterally. Okay. Remember how I said we actually need a little bit of more that. slide. Okay, so you actually need a little bit more slide in your downswing. Uh -huh. Ian needs a little bit less slide in yeah. his downswing. Oh, okay. Okay, now, it's okay, but what did you feel? I mean, I kind of felt... Right, so that arm, instead of I doing this. this, correct, yeah. exactly, and that's what we're trying to get rid of. So, we want the squaring up process to be as far away from your hands as we can get it. Okay. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Okay, so, so all when rotation. you do this, it's all about the body's movements that are gonna keep this very, very static. Right. Okay. It's gonna change, but it's gonna change at a much slower rate. Right. When you over rotate, it slingshots your shoulder, which then causes the arm to internally rotate, which then smothers it down. Okay. Okay. Which makes sense because I struggle with Ian always sees my dynamic loft numbers are low Correct. with pretty much every club, especially driver, right? Eh? Yeah. Well that comes from this motion here. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we do that motion, so it goes from external, it down. right? So the more external, you see more dynamic loft and a shallower angle of attack. Uh -huh. The more internal it kicks, you'll see less dynamic loft and generally a little uh -huh. bit steeper swing direction. Okay. That felt closer. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was closer. Yep. Okay. It, it's still, I felt still a bit of this, yep. but less. Yep. And you had mentioned to me that part of my swing issue was hanging back a bit. Is that a You rotate kind of? the pelvis level, uh -huh. okay, without sliding it forward enough. So it stays back here. Right. Right. There's a myth right now that you can just sit in one place and rotate. Uh -huh. Okay, it doesn't exist. It doesn't work. Okay, we measure, you know, we measure players in 3D. We see that the average tour player from setup to impact moves five and a half to six inches further forward with their pelvis. Okay. Drawers closer to seven to eight inches. So Rory McIlroy is 7.7 .7 inches forward oh, wow. from setup to impact. Good, up to the top. Okay, so show me impact. The left shoulder is going to go down toward the ball. Hips are going to go over here. Nice. Hard to see that one go right. And no, I can only see left. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, and yeah. that's okay. And, and Which is a good feeling. This right. will be great to show this yeah. that we've got the little third cam here, right down the line, because right. you know you'll really see how much that right arm stays above the left, and you've there is a little space in there now, yeah. whereas before. It would almost be the sneak, other way, you know, starting, yeah. Right. Yeah, the and gap was almost yeah. this way. Yeah. 
And just as an interesting point you make there too. So the most stable kind of risk conditions we get are when the trail elbow is below the lead. Yeah. Okay. Anytime the trail elbow climbs above this, what's happening is that this pushes pressure into your index finger yeah. and causes the wrist to break. Right. Nice Very good. Bite. Very good. Felt different. I definitely felt more of this. Correct. Now, when we look at that swing, there was plenty of rotation there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I also want you to move the ball forward about one ball. Okay. okay. Just a little bit. Obviously, that's going to help us with our dynamic loft. Let's rehearse that again. Slide that off. Good. Yep. All the way up. And then it's kind of that. Correct. So you're feeling that shoulder comes down to here. Right. But that hip has to be over here. Or towards there. Right. Okay. Okay. It's probably the best attempt it's felt. Yeah, that was great. I mean, the elbow feels very, it, it probably doesn't look Absolutely. good, but it feels like this to me. Yeah. Right. Okay, nice good swing, work. Matty. That was a really nice swing. It felt different. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Very, very different. Good. Yeah. Through impact for sure. To keep this softness, you have to go that way. this way. So you yes. see how that's still nice and soft, uh -huh. and you don't feel the tension in the shoulder that's trying to kick it. So we, we lower a bit as we slide a bit. Correct. Very close. It was close. That was close. Like that was all, that was a true draw. Yeah. Okay. Getting closer. Getting really close. Yeah. Really close. Okay. That felt very really good. Really starting to get it now, Matty. Yep. That looked different, eh? Yes. But again, for you, like our number one concern, right? The very first lesson we talked about, what are we talking about? We talked about face control. Yes. Yeah. It's all about face control, which I have none right. of. I'm not even concerned too much today about path as much as I am controlling the face. Which well, someone would ask, and I'm curious. So yep. obviously path has become pretty extreme in yep. doubt. Although oddly, the start line and finish line of that shot were very tight. Yes. So what's going to occur? Will, will uh, drills and time bring the path closer to zero? I think a little bit of your setup is influencing that. Okay. So you do like to get the ball back in your stance. I do, yeah. It's okay. a bad habit. But right now, basically, that'll be next month's session is to dial in those numbers a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Sure. This session is all about basically eliminating anything that goes right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it. so everything's high, it's solid, mm. it's up in the air, and the start line is a little left. Is left. Yeah. Okay. Now, whether it draws or just little pushes, I'm okay with that for now. Right. I did like to see that uh, angle of attack shallow out that much, Matty. Yeah, so that's a, that's a that, really good that point. That was really good, because your tilt, your, your, yeah, your tilt was much, much more lined. I mean, we've talked about how much seven and eight degrees down was killing your hitting, wrist. Oh, my wrist has been killing me from hitting right. eight, nine degrees down on it. Right. Now I guess I, now I get why, right? Yeah, <laughs> from absolutely. That, from that absolutely. Way, yeah. It's a good, that's, yeah, so four oh, is, is feeling yeah. easy through the turf. Mm -hmm. Like it feels like there's no pressure on my yeah. joint. If there's my, let's say my hand is, is my loft, Yeah. right? And there's my trail elbow, right? So as I turn that in, I'm de-lofting and creating and a yeah. steeper angle yeah. attack. Yeah. Next yeah. As I turn it this way, I'm opening the face, which uh -huh. is what we're doing today, and I'm shallowing this, okay? And that to keep it in that orientation, that's why you have to release your hips yep. forward. So as you release your hips forward, you're creating more loft and a shallower angle of attack. Yeah. It's probably why like I'm not I'm not getting wrist pain from this session right now. Normally Good. if I hit a bunch Good. of seven irons, I'm I'm getting a little sore. Ah, now different. we're clicking. Yeah, that was nice. Definitely different. Okay. Nice. Oh boy. Now we're talking. That's cool. It feels really different. Ooh. 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 Almost. Almost. That would have been a good one. We would have just cut over. We would drop the cut. mic and go. Yeah. Um, yeah, over 100 feet again. Okay. Love Lovely. Really now you're getting that. So like, different. Yeah. Now, you notice that. how different the finish so high, looks, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't hit a ball that high unless. Scoop it's it. like scoopy or something. Right. Like that looks also so easy as well. Like it Does looks it? very low effort. Does not look like 94 is going into it. I'm a little surprised to see 94 club at speed. Yeah. yeah. Ah. I know that went a little left, but no, that, no, actually, that was way nice better. Yeah. Actually, felt like a pretty that good was swing. way better. Yeah. Okay. Good I'm, work. I'm good to finish on that one. Very cool. Awesome. Very work. different. Yeah. Just to very watch, your, especially your leg action, to watch your kind of 
almost your your left knee works so closely to the back of your right leg. Looks different. Yeah, rather than creating that space as you straighten the right and push out the left. Good work, boys. Good lesson. Thanks, Scott. Awesome. Good well, done. very good. good work. Tough yeah. one, but but good. I can see. Yeah, I can see why I need to make that. See where of. we're going. No, I'm excited to see the angle attack shallow out as much as it did. A, a very good pickup. Yeah, just because I think from your practice as well, it'll take some strain off your your body. Allow you to hit a few more. If I can hit more balls, like I know it sounds stupid, it sounds like I practice a ton, but I've had to cut my my practice sessions yeah. really short for yeah, the last right. two weeks because the wrist has been bugging me because of the steepness. Yeah. If it's three or four degrees down, I, yeah. my wrist doesn't hurt at all right now. Especially on the mats. Right? Especially like, off of mats. So right, that will make a big difference to the pace at which I can make the change. I think I'd love uh, for you to see go you go to four dots on your, your club. For my practice. And then maybe keep a little note of, mm. of dynamic loft numbers. So when that's you practice idea. with your seven, okay, well, dynamic loft got down to 22. That's the, that's the hot one that goes right. Yep. 26 is the nice, you know, nice launch, you know, out to the left and, and lands very, very soft. So, you know, within that window, you're trending more towards 26 than 22. I think that'd be a nice little metric. The way I've got dynamic loft, yeah. you know, we, we measure a lot of mine by that. I think dynamic loft is your one. That's a good point. Than yeah, live. I will definitely keep an eye on that. Yeah. yeah, great stuff. Well, big thanks to Scott. Yeah, it's, thank you, we're, Scott. We're very, very lucky to, to have uh, you on this journey with us, uh, you know, here monthly and, and obviously, we, we do checkups in between, which is which is awesome. No, great really work really today, guys, it. for sure. Yeah, well looking, done. Looking forward to practicing that. Definitely. Guys, we will do our two-week update in, uh, 100%. when we get back from Arizona. So yeah. we're away next week and then the following week. We'll, we'll report back how it was yeah. when we get on the uh, the grass, when we get a bit of sun on us oh. uh, in Scottsdale. That'd, That'd be, be nice. lovely. Yep. Good stuff. Okay, so guys, stay tuned uh, on our Instagram as well for this, uh, the journey. Uh, Matt underscore Bloys. Correct. Scott Cox certified and Ian Fraser Golf. So follow all three accounts. We'll be posting regularly for the next, you know, next month until we meet again. 100%. Good stuff, boys. Excellent. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.